Nay here, and today I'm going to be doing my May wrap up. <laughs> See what I did there? And my June TBR. In May, I did not read much. I dipped into a ton of different books, which I intend to keep finishing in June, but I actually only finished one book. Again, I feel like this is a, a common thing that I don't actually finish as many as I set out to achieve. Currently, I'm blaming that on study and the spiky end of the semester. My first exam being next Friday. And now we just all feel sulky, you know? Like, should I be filming a video or should I be studying? Let's give my roommate some privacy. And anyway, the one book that I did finish in May, unsurprisingly, was A Gathering of Shadows by V.E. Schwab, the continuation of the Shades of Magic trilogy, which I'm absolutely loving at the minute. Oh my gosh. I don't have a copy with me because I had it from the library and I literally returned it back the day that it needed to be back at the library because I was trying to not run through it. I wanted to enjoy the story, which I don't often do. Most of the time, books that I'm super excited about, I will just let myself fly through them because I find that fun. Like, I know then the book is over quicker. Like, it's always a debate that you go, oh, to savor the book or to read it really fast and, like, I don't know. Anyway, I did read a ton of other stuff which I didn't finish in May. I did start a ton of other books, and I plan to hopefully be able to finish lots of those. My last exam is on the 21st, but hopefully I can still read during some exam time, so maybe finish a few of these, given I've started lots of them and I'm in the middle of lots of them. Like, the first one of those which I'm busy listening to on audio from the library, they also have an ebook version from the library, and I'm kind of alternating between the two, is Mr. Monday by Garth Nix. This is written by an Australian author, and it is really cool. How to describe this book, I honestly am not sure if I can. Basically, there seems to be... kind of... our main protagonist is a kid in grade 7, 9, something like that, named Arthur Penhaligon, and he gets mixed up in a situation with basically the auditors of space and time, and he ends up with this key, which is one of seven keys to, I suppose, the world, the kingdom, the universe? I don't know. The series is called Keys to the Kingdom, so I assume it's one of the keys to the kingdom. Yeah, I actually am just really loving it. Like, I don't really know how to describe it yet, and I feel like it's going to be one of those books that I don't know how to describe until I've finished it, but I am loving it so far. The next book that I plan to read is A Gathering of Shadows by V. <laughs> is A Conjuring of Light by V.E. Schwab. Look how huge this is compared to like the first one. Darker Shade of Magic and this is A Conjuring of Light. They're like boom, boom, boom. That's great. I love it. More story. These two books have still still felt like there's so much building that's happening because I don't know, it's just, I don't know, that's like the pattern with trilogies. Is It's just like the way it builds and builds and builds and then like the third book will crash it all down and like Hopefully stitch it all up properly. If she doesn't stitch it all up, I'm going to be seven levels of mad. But I am so excited to read this. Honestly, I think it's probably one of my most anticipated reads for this month. I am so excited. But, you know, other things I'm enjoying too. But this one will be closing off the trilogy. I'm not quite sure. Maybe I won't finish it this month. I'm not sure. Like, I don't want to... I don't want to ruin the experience. Again, again is the question. Does one fly through it, or do you, you know, take your time with something you love? I don't know. Is there, is there an answer to this question? Someone please let me know. The angle is still the same on that. My phone storage keeps on hating me. Other books that I plan to keep on finishing in June are ones like Truth Witch by Susan Denard and Miss Bourne the Final Empire by Brandon Sanderson. Truth which I'm still not very far into, so I still cannot give a very good explanation of what that's about. Miss Bourne the Final Empire follows a few characters, the main one of which is Vin. She and another character called Kelsia are what are called Mistborn, where they have the ability to consume and then the term is burn metals, where burning these metals gives them particular powers while they're burning them until they run out. It is a rebellion story of the Scar people overcoming the final empire. I'm not far enough to be able to really want to say anything more without knowing whether that'll be a huge spoiler or not. So I'm like, I don't know, I feel like I'm a quarter of a third of the way, but it's quite a big book, so 
So, those are a lot of just random things I know that I would like to finish, slash, start in June, because I'm excited about lots of these, but I know I also have exams. Also, during this exam season, I'm not going to kill myself for not, you know, reading a ton when I should be looking at biology textbooks. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Comment down below and actually tell me which, which, on which end of the spectrum you are on. Finish the book fast because you're loving it, like thunder your way through that because you don't care, you're loving it, or pace yourself and have the story for ages and ages if it's like one you've been super looking forward to. Tell me down below what you do because I tend to generally do the first because I just decide that if I'm enjoying it I may as well just like read it really quickly, but with a conjuring of light, I've been really reserved and be like, I don't, I don't want to run out of story. Despite that, I know it's really huge, but I'm like, I don't want to run out of story. So, you know, tell me down below which you do and, you know, whether I should just run my way through that one. I should go study or go for a run or eat pancakes or maybe I could do all three. I could be talented. Peace out, peoples. I'll see you later.